Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a basic Indian curry. Once the sauce is ready, you can put almost anything in it. Meat, vegetables, beans, or a combination. And you can make a double batch because it freezes really well. For that, I have chopped onions, tomato puree, Rashmi's blend, curry powder, garam masala, minced ginger, minced garlic, oil, salt, and cilantro for garnish. The recipes for the spice blends are on the blog, or you can order the spices from Etsy.com. So let's get started. I've heated my pot, so I'm gonna add the oil. You can use ghee or butter instead. Add the onions. Add the salt to sweat the onions. Stir it up and let it saute until it gets golden brown. It took exactly 12 minutes to get the onions to get to this golden brown color. Now I am going to add the garlic, the ginger, and stir it up a little bit and add the spices. Rashmi's blend and curry powder. I'm gonna stir the spices a little bit and wait until they get toasted and fragrant. About 30 seconds. I can smell the spices blooming. So I'll add the tomato puree. Add some water. And I'm going to cover it and simmer for a little while. After the curry started to boil, I covered it and let it simmer for about 12 minutes. It's nice and thick. The onion has almost dissolved. I'm going to add some garam masala and our curry is ready. You can add meat, vegetables. If you add potatoes, you may have to add some more water since they do absorb liquid. This is the basic curry recipe. You can change it up. You can use coconut milk instead of water. Maybe you can add coconut powder or coconut flakes almond butter or cashew butter, and or heavy cream to make a creamy curry. For details of this recipe and many more, please go to my blog.